what is this? I'm actually back making videos again. I know it's surprising, but here I am, a little bit of spark gameplay. I have been uh, not so much busy as I have been playing uh, Mass Effect. Not Mass Effect 3, just Mass Effect. I am behind on the series. I bought it for cheap like two years ago. Never got around to playing it. I finished the first Mass Effect like a week ago. I'm now in the middle of Mass Effect 2. And maybe two years from now I will finish Mass Effect 3. We'll see. And besides that, I also got a new iPad. The uh, the new iPad, and I've been playing with that as well. So I've been kind of doing other things besides Monday Night Combat. I've been playing like here and there for uh, one of the day, but that's about it. And here we have some Spark gameplay. When I do play, I like to play Spark. Spark's been a lot of fun. He's still not perfect. There is a little glitch here and there. I've died a few times due to the teleport uh, glitching out, but for the most part, he is a lot of fun to play. I just enjoy how he can cleanly rip through the bot waves and all that, so I like him. He's a lot of fun to play. Probably not as good as Assassin or Wascot, but there's something to be said about having fun. And there's been a patch since I've uh, last posted a video. Again, they're sort of toning down their patches as we ramp up for PAX East. And they get that build ready. Uh, probably the most controversial aspect of the patch was the fact that you are kind of forced into uh, playing against groups of the same size. So if you're in a five-man group, you got to play against five-man groups. They have since fixed this. And I'm going to interrupt this right here and watch how stupid I am right here. I... Going for a kill here, and I thought at some point that the uh, the ejector had been used already, and I paid the price for that. I was very upset about that, dying right there. Anyway, back to what I was saying about there are people upset that you cannot do, you have to basically wait longer now because a five man has to wait against a five man, four man against a four man, and so forth. So, if I announce a fix to this, uh, tomorrow, or Thursday's patch, is going to add a bit more leeway. For example, a five-man will go against a five-man or a four-man. I think a four-man will be pitted against three-mans, four-mans, or five-mans, and so forth from there. In the hopes of sort of alleviating the matchmaking uh, queue timer. Personally, I think this is mostly just a symptom of the game being in a limited release format right now. Of course, queues are going to be longer because you only have so many players playing. I think it's like still under 100,000 players total. So obviously you're going to have a harder time, a harder time finding uh, players to play. Though you know, for the time being, if they want to, you know, make it easier to get matches, then why not? Other changes in the past were mostly balance changes. They have added some new weapon designs. For some reason, the single colored ones that were introduced are still very expensive. Balance changes were fairly large. Can't slow this and can't stun this. Were nerfed. They are now double the cooldown. I think they're around uh, they're 60 seconds now instead of 30 seconds. Uh, still pretty good, but they will not, you cannot rely on them as often. And then the other big one was skill regen has been nerfed quite heavily. It's now a ca it now caps out at 15% instead of 25. And the endorsements themselves have been nerfed accordingly. I will say that, to be fair, skill recovery was one of those pretty much safe bets of endorsement loadouts. A lot of classes can make use of the skill uh, recovery. Besides that, you also have a, a fire rate, uh, some people like crit, and magazine size is also another popular one. So you have they're trying to encourage people to use other endorsements instead of just you know loading up on one type. So we'll see how that plays out. I definitely had a skill recovery set, and it's definitely I'm definitely feeling the loss there. Though I will say on Spark, I use Fire Rate right now. Nothing fancy, just us, you know, for the most part, level 1 Fire Rate endorsements. Because the faster he attacks with his sword, the more all fires he gets. So, why not? And other balance changes, they buff the heck out of the support from what I saw. I don't really, again, I don't play support that much, but I should play more often so I can speak more about his what he's doing, but uh, for the most part, he did get quite a few buffs. I know one of the bigger buffs is that his his airstrike now falls uh, faster, so you don't have to worry about players getting cover as quickly if less time to react, so hopefully he'll nail more often. 
and even on open areas where there's really no safe place, like up here, there's no safe place to run. You still, uh, you can still run out of his, you know, explosion radius, and that'll give players less time to react. So we will see how that turns out. As for other balance changes here, I know they, I think they finally did a solution to Carl. Yeah, Carl's handler has been nerfed to having a six-second cooldown for his alt fire, but damage has been increased a lot more, like 150 now. They also did some tweaking to enemy uh, snares. Gunner, his uh, ground slam now slows. It slows less. Actually, no, it slows more. I'm reading this wrong. It slows more. You now uh, half speed, but it slows for a shorter duration. So, a bit of a trade off there. Honestly, making him slower probably works better. And Gunslinger, her kneecap now is. It's overall it's the same, but the. The time difference is sort of spread out a bit more. Make it a little more, I guess, balanced across all levels. Outside of that, looking at support here, you got more HP, more shotgun damage, uh, fall off range was increased. His fire based attack interval was actually nerfed a little bit, the looks of it. It's hard to really tell what these uh, decimals mean, just right off the bat here. Uh, fire based damage was, looks like, increased. And the healing from Firebase Aura, the Firebase at, like, I think max level heals people that are nearby, and at max level it now will also stop burning when it heals you, so... Um, that's kind of nice, because it's a little unintuitive that uh, you think you go to a Firebase that heals, you think it'll stop, it also would stop the burning, but it doesn't, and you die. So, that's a nice change. They also change Veteran's Claw Enemy Speed Multiplier for his alt fire on the, uh, not Claw, his, uh, Flying Falcons. The alt fire... Also region at half speed, so sort of some more tweaking on the snares here. Overall, this has been a controversial patch. Uh, change endorsements always get people complaining. Another change that caused people to complain was the Metaball Lightning vending machines. They are cheaper and they last twice as long. So uh, look out for that. Actually, quite a nice uh, buff there. Have to see how that plays out, but some people are saying it's a little too good. And other minor change is that Uber points are gone. Uh, everything's now just using dollar amounts, like in uh, Team Fortress 2. You've already had your leftover points converted to the best possible uh, money uh, dollar amount. I think there's some bugs with uh, foreign currencies. It actually all works out in Steam itself, but I think the menus are still in American dollars, so um, I'm in the United States, so I really can't say for sure, but uh, be aware of that. Oh, they also added bundles, too. Uh, not really a gameplay change, but bundles uh, can now be purchased. They included a few, uh, basically just so you know, you can buy multiple pros, you can buy a pro with a skin and taunt, starter pack. Really nice. Look into that if you're if you're getting ready to put some money down in the game. Because that is a nice way to get yourself started with a pro. If you like a pro a whole lot, you can easily get a pro and get some uh, nice things for them, like, you know... A I'm not sure they include weapons. I know they include taunts and skins. But it's a nice way to give yourself a little packet, a little starting kit for a, a new pro. Or if you just want to get a lot of pros, you don't really care about skins or anything, you just want gameplay stuff, you can buy, I believe, there's a pack for all 14 pros right now. If you want to just go ahead and get all of them at once. Or you can also buy the initial, the original six pros for... I see a lot cheaper amount if you don't want to spend that much money and just want a nice uh, starting stock of pros. And that's about it for the patch. I'm going to go back into this gameplay here. Uh, this was a fairly uh, balanced team initially. They were doing pretty well, being pretty aggressive with the, uh, particularly the veteran and the uh, tank were doing a pretty good job ambushing and being on top of things. Carl wasn't too bad with his stuns. Um, then they get a lever and that pretty much turns this game to a more or less a snowball. It's really hard to come back from those leaves, and it really sucks that the uh, the guy sort of shafted this way. I know early on they added they did a uh, a jungle, a uh, bit of a jungle uh, commando or jungle veteran, am I saying? Which uh, can be done. It was more popular back when they, before they nerfed his melee damage because he did have uh, melee damage comparable to a commando, so he could go up there. And easily get some get some kills. Compete with the and with his, with his high HP, can easily bully uh, 
commandos out of the lane. If you saw me earlier, out of the jungle, I mean. If you if you look in the early parts of the video, I think he he got he managed to get the gremlin early on just by skinning his teeth. And I really couldn't f contest him at all because he's got so much HP there and so many you know grapples. It's really dangerous getting near him. He doesn't jump around a whole lot. You can easily you know the what you see is not what's actually going on in the game itself, and that kind of a uh, sort of burn you there and you get into eating a lot of grapples. As for products right now, I'm doing something, uh, some people use a Generous Kill and Inspire combo. I don't know if that still works, I've just been using it because I feel like doing silly product builds right now and I got Generous Kill as a prize, so I said why not and went ahead and started uh, messing around with this uh, combo. And I also use Hot Hands because it's some nice uh, extra burst damage, which I've been appreciating more and more for those early kills. I mean, honestly, I don't have a whole lot else to use. I've been—I was a big fan of critical, uh, critically late, but I stopped using that for a while because when I use critically late. I tend to also use uh, crit endorsements to make up for that uh, crit loss. Then in a patch, it bugged out. You couldn't—you uh, couldn't edit your critical uh, chance endorsements, so I couldn't really use my crit at all because I couldn't add more crit to it. And for Spark, I prefer Fire Rate anyway. I'll see what I end up going with once I actually get to, uh, get to level 100 and get more money to actually do some real stuff. And at this point, we get another lever, and at this point, it's a, five, a 5v3 in the game. It's pretty much over. Now, to their credit, they will try to hold on here. They will put up some sort of defense, but at this point, there's not a whole lot of manpower they have to really really uh, push back at all. I mean, 3v5 is probably hard to come back from, so it's really unfortunate to see people leave like that, especially so close to the end of the game. I mean, the game's got like a minute left here, tops. Maybe two minutes, I guess, if it's, uh, you know, if we're not on the ball. But, uh, why not just, you know, lose and get your combat coins? Or, in the, you know, chance for a prize. I just don't see why you would leave so, so close to the end of the game. It just really really confuses me. So at this point I'm just uh, cleaning up bot waves. I'm not poking my head in. I did not realize at this point that we had actually only uh, only three uh, people in the enemy team left. I thought it was a 4v5 so I was still playing a little, a little carefully. Make sure we're pushing up. So at this point just, yeah, just pushing up. Uh, getting, cleaning the uh, bot waves. Not a whole lot to say here, which is a little, uh, did a little more exciting stuff at the end of this game, but I was uh, pretty much playing it safe and killing bot waves. Uh, what I will say about the about the next upcoming patch is that we are two weeks away from PAX East, so that probably means we'll be scaling down here. They're, they have found some things in the patch notes about a new pro is a defender. I, my guess is that we might, we might actually see this new defender at Pax East in a special build. We might not see him that soon in the actual game build, so there might be a special build just to, you know, sort of check him out. Or at the very least, it might just be a... might just be an announcement for him, and we don't actually get to see him at all in the, uh, in the build itself. But it is, it is a he, and it is a... Um, it is a defender, so we'll see how that works out. And that is the game. Um, kind of rambling today. I hope I'll get back in the swing of things as, towards the end of the week. I'll have another video up hopefully tomorrow. I might just wait for the new patch to come out. We'll see. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. You know, I missed it myself, but I'm sure it was spectacular. Good night, everybody.